Hi, my name is Melinda Katz, and I have the honor of being the 24th District Attorney of Queens County. In the last 200 years where there's been a district attorney in Queens, I am the first woman to be holding the office. When I became the DA, I also chose leadership to work with me to make sure that this office was run effectively in fairness and with justice. I chose two women to hold those positions. The chief executive for my office is Jen Niver. She is the first female chief executive for the Queens District Attorney's Office. And the chief of staff, Camille Chinkifat, who also shows great leadership every single day. We thank everyone for that opportunity, but we stand on the shoulders of so many women who came before us, so many experts in their fields, so many people who blazed the trail before us, and we are thankful to them. And today is just a small way for us to say thank you and to show our appreciation for the historical value and for the value to that they posed for the future. Being the first woman to follow all of these gentlemen as District Attorney of Queens County, it's a responsibility that I do not take lightly to make sure that this borough is a fair borough, a just one. I'm excited by the opportunity and we look forward to the challenge. It is important to me that we recognize those women that came before me, those women that broke barriers and smashed the glass ceiling. And it was important for us to pay tribute to them, to thank them, and to show them how deeply honored we are to follow in their footsteps. That's why here in the executive suite and in our hallway, we pay tribute to those women who were trailblazers. These are remarkable women whose accomplishments we can all take pride in. I am delighted to share their stories with you. Geraldine Ferraro. Ferraro joined the Queens District Attorney's Office and became part of the first Special Victims Bureau. Ferraro was elected to Congress in 1978 and just six years later became the first woman to be nominated as vice presidential candidate for a major political party. Elizabeth Holtzman blazed trails as the first woman elected to serve as district attorney in New York City when she was elected Kings County DA in 1981, and then as the first woman elected New York City Controller in 1988. Before that, she was a four-term congresswoman representing New York's 16th congressional district after defeating a 50-year incumbent. Before she became the first woman to win the presidential nomination of a major American political party, Hillary Clinton was already one of the most accomplished stateswomen in U.S. history. As First Lady, twice elected U.S. Senator, and U.S. Secretary of State, Shirley Chisholm was the first African-American woman elected to serve in Congress, representing Brooklyn's 12th Congressional District for seven terms. She first served in public office as a state assemblywoman in 1964. Tish James became the first woman and first African-American to be elected as Attorney General of New York State in 2018. She has been a champion for civil rights activists and consumers, taking on opponents from the NBA to the NRA to the White House. Judith Kay was the first woman named to the highest court in New York and the first to serve as the state's chief judge, a job she held longer than any of her 21 male predecessors. When Darcel Clark was elected to the office of Bronx County District Attorney, she became the first woman to hold that position and the first African-American woman in New York State to hold the office of district attorney. Doris Ling Cohen is the first woman of Asian descent to be appointed to an appellate panel in New York State. She was elected New York State Supreme Court Justice in 2002. In 2014, Justice Ling Cohen was appointed to the appellate term, First Department. She is founding member of the Asian American Bar Association and the New York Asian Women's Center. In 2018, Ushir Panda Durant made history as the first South Asian judge elected to New York State Supreme Court in Queens and the first South Asian woman judge elected in the state of New York. A Queens native, Grace Meng, is the first Asian American woman elected to Congress from New York. She serves on the Congressional Asian Pacific American Caucus and the Democratic National Committee. Sheila Abdus Salam was the first African American woman to serve on the New York State of Court of Appeals. Originally from Washington, D.C., and a graduate of Columbia University School of Law, Abdus Salam championed the rights of the vulnerable and persons with mental illness. Abdus Salam's untimely death cast a national spotlight on the issue of depression. Sandra Day O'Connor was the first woman to be nominated and confirmed as Associate Justice of the Supreme Court of the United States. 
She also served as the first female majority leader in the Arizona State Senate or any state legislature in the country. Ruth Bader Ginsburg, who we recently lost and who was a great loss to our profession. In life, Ruth Bader Ginsburg was the first Jewish woman to be seated on the nation's highest court. Even in death, after a lifetime of breaking barriers, she continued to make history, becoming the first woman and first Jewish person to lie in state at the U.S. Capitol building. Elena Kagan was the first woman to serve as dean at Harvard Law School and the first woman to serve as U.S. Solicitor General. Sonia Sotomayor was the first Latina to serve on the Supreme Court and the first Puerto Rican woman on the federal bench when appointed to the U.S. District Court for the Southern District of New York. New York State Chief Judge Janet DeFiori has led the New York State court system since 2016 as the Chief Judge of the Court of Appeals. And as we honor all these women who blazed the trail in their own time, we also need to make sure that they are not the only firsts. We need to make sure that we continue to pride ourselves in the women who came before us, acknowledge that we stand on their shoulders. And as we move forward and rise up through the ranks, we need to remember to lift those young women that come after us and lift them up so that they can also succeed, give them the opportunities to succeed, and make sure that we are a part of their future. Thank you very much for being part of today.